morning from the Travel Lodge Central Gatwick Hotel. It's uh, the 10th of March 2022 and I'm off to Orlando today. Well, I'm not off to Orlando, I'm actually flying to Tampa because it was a lot cheaper. Um, but I am then going to drive to Orlando. So this is a new mini series, it's just me, I'm travelling solo. <laughs> So those of you that watched my previous series in November, I went with my two children. Um, so I'm leaving them at home with my husband, who has very kindly volunteered to um, have them whilst I come away for a week. <laughs> this is a solo trip. I've never done a solo trip before, but I'm really excited. It's very much needed. I've um, not had a great year. Not that I want everyone to feel sorry for me or anything, but it's just, um, yeah, it's like, not been great and um, I just wanted to get away to my favourite place. I have lots of um, memories in Florida from my childhood and growing up and I just love it anyway. So um, yeah, I thought I would go by myself, go solo and it's going to be an experience, that's for sure. But I'm excited, I'm not really nervous. I used to be cabin crew so I'm used to um, sort of eating out by myself and um, I used to go out and about in New York by myself walking around in LA and stuff so none of that is really alien to me or anything and I don't mind it at all um, but yeah so we're at Gatwick I came up last night I didn't bother <laughs> starting this then because I worked until about half past ten and then um, I came straight up here which is like a two hour drive there was a big diversion off the M25 so it took ages I didn't get here till one in the morning so there wouldn't have been much to have filmed for that um, but I just wanted to be up here so I was ready for the morning. My flight's with British Airways, it's at 10 o'clock so we're just going to head over now to the car park so I can park the car and then we'll get um, a bus over to the terminal. So it's going to be me and you, just the two of us for a week, um, but I'm excited. This is what I'm wearing today, my little travel day outfit. It's not really, um, anybody that knows these journeys know that it's a long day. So. I don't know, I don't really see what the point is in wearing jeans. And also they don't do free upgrades anymore. So there's no point dressing fancy. In my opinion, go casual and go comfy. So I've just got some uh, leggings on, a hoodie and a top underneath for when I get there. And if it's quite warm, um, I have to wear glasses sometimes now because I can't really see much. It's all a bit blurry. So you'll see these on and off probably periodically. Um, yes, I'm just going hand luggage only. So. We've just got a little case. My plan is to buy a big suitcase out there. We need new suitcases, so I thought I'm gonna save myself 50 pounds, seeing as it's just me going out there. So um, I'm gonna hopefully buy one out there and then fill that up with lots of goodies and just pay to bring it back one way rather than paying for two ways. I got this flight really cheap. So I booked this at the beginning of January, 2022 this year and um, it was £282, so London Gatwick to Tampa, which I thought was a bargain, £282, bargain. So that's hand luggage only though, but this is like the biggest suitcase that you can take. I've like measured it and everything and it just, just scrapes in. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really, really good. And just for a single traveller, I mean, 
not too fancy. Shorts, t-shirts, makeup, a few toiletries in my uh, rucksack and we're good to go. Anything else I can buy out there. Um, but yeah, that's, um, that's what we're dealing with luggage wise. So uh, let's get this show on the road. one's it gonna be well, it's not gonna be that one because it's out of service mm, it's this one so we're like 15 minutes behind schedule but it's okay because I don't have a check bag to check in so that will speed things up I didn't say that I stayed at the Gatwick Central Travel Lodge last night. That was only £39, so that was quite a bargain. Well, be it, I was only there for about five hours. Um, but travel lodges are always really reasonable. And it was £9 to park as well, which I thought wasn't too bad. So let's pop the suitcase in the car. like love an airport I'm obsessed I love airports I like to get here three hours early on a normal time when I'm running on schedule which is most times to be fair I like to like look around the shops have something to eat get a coffee leisurely walk down to the gate I just love the atmosphere at the uh, airports as well I think it's kind of a bit, a bit geeky I do realize that but it's all part of the experience for me I get excited about coming to the airport. It's sad, really. I had to take my glasses off because they were just steaming up. Um, as I suspected, then I didn't have to. Well, I didn't have to go to the check-in area because I've already done the Verifly app. I've uploaded everything for that, and I've already checked in, so I've got my boarding pass. And I don't have to check a bag in because I'm just taking hand baggage. So they said I can go straight to um, straight through security, which is where I'm heading now. Okay, so we're all through security. Does anyone else get a real sweat on when you're like pulled for all the checks? I literally had all of the checks. I don't know if it was just one of those random searches, but I had to do the body scan, had to take my shoes off. I had to go through the little special aisle, felt quite special, but I did get a bit of a dab on. I don't know why, because I'm not a criminal or anything. <laughs> I don't have anything to hide, but it must just be like a natural reaction, maybe. Anyway, it's 20 to nine. I'm gonna try and see if we can get something to eat, maybe, although I'm not really that hungry. Uh, I've just come out into North Terminal. I know there's a weather spins here, so we might, I might have a look there. I don't know, really. I don't really know what I fancy. I definitely need a cup of tea. So let's have a look, see what we can find. I'm gonna make a stop at WH Smith after because I'd like to get a book and some snacks for the plane, I think, because the plane food. Oh wow, look at the queue for weather spoons. That's pretty long. Um, Okay, so I waited in that queue in the end. It wasn't actually that long, probably about 10 minutes. So let's have a look at the menu. Am 
might just get some toast. Like I said, I'm not really that hungry. But I do want a cup of tea. Breakfast has arrived. We've just gone for some toast with some like jam and stuff because I'm not that hungry. And a nice cup of tea. Really, really busy here this morning, but I know that the morning is the busiest at the airport, but it just feels pleasing. Also, I didn't realise that you don't have to wear a mask anymore in the airport. I think it's just on the aeroplane because literally like it's half and half here. Half of people are wearing their masks and half of people aren't. Okay, so breakfast is all done. Now we're gonna pop into WH Smith and have a look at their snacks and maybe look at getting a book as well. Okay, so I didn't really like the choice of sandwiches in WH Smith, so let's go back over to Boots and have a look at Boots. Oh, well, they've got a bit more in here. Okay, meal deal purchased. I'm gonna have a look on the board and see if it has any gate information yet, because it said 8.55 it was going to update. I'm not sure what the time is. Oh no, it's not quite yet. 8.42. Um, might have a little look around the shops quickly then to kill, kill another 10 minutes. Walk down the best tunnel ever. I didn't sadly get upgraded like I was hoping I would. You know, secretly wishing. <laughs> but um, never mind. Hopefully the flight's not full. Might be able to stretch out a little bit which will be nice, but we'll see.
station that was quite long i'd like read quite a lot that tampa is quite quick because they don't get many international flights but definitely um definitely took quite a while probably about half an hour i want to say um but anyway through now i think it's about four o'clock and we're gonna get the shuttle over to the terminal and find the car rental place which is off airport so for this trip because the price of cars is so high i am um, booked an off airport one because it was a lot a lot cheaper by like 600 pounds i think so um, we're going to give that a go and see what that's like hopefully it's straightforward and easy i just need to find the car rental area and then get a shuttle bus to take me to the car rental place so um yeah, I'll let you know when we're there. So I think I need to find, oh yeah, there's a big sign over here that says, so these are all the on-site ones, like Alamo, Enterprise, Budget, Avis, but those were really expensive. So I went for an off airport one and there's a sign up here that says, off airport rental so we just need to follow the sign for that and then get on a shuttle bus one where's one then okay i don't know that one maybe that's not very clear, is it? It says level one and there is no level one. Is that right? Oh no, there's level one. You're so stupid! You can tell it's, you can tell it's been a long day. <laughs> okay, come on, Jade. Got to, drive, got to drive to Orlando yet, girl. Pull yourself together. Mask can come off. Got my car. Just checking it over. Just driving to Orlando now. I picked up the car. I couldn't really vlog much in the um, car rental place because it was really small and there was nobody really in there. Um, but I got the shuttle bus from the airport. Um, again, I couldn't really vlog in there either because there I was in this shuttle bus with another couple um, and I got chatting to them basically. Um, they were from Philadelphia, I think. Um, but they were really, really nice. The car rental was all good, although basically when I booked this car, I booked it through like a compare website. I think it was like, I want to say like Money Supermarket or one of those, something like that. And um, it took me to Discover Cars. That's who I actually booked this through. But it, I ended up booking, so my car rental was with a company called Easy Rent, um, which I found out when I obviously got there from the shuttle bus. When I like paid for the car online, I paid the extra coverage, which was like an extra five pound a day, I think. But then when I got, this always happens, like, I just, it just really annoys me. I don't know why they don't just put this in the price. So when I got to the desk, the lady was set, like looking for my paperwork and she basically said that you haven't got like third, she says you've got everything covering the car that we're giving you. She said, but you've got no coverage for if you hit another car, like a third party coverage. So I was like really annoyed because I took out the, I paid for the extra coverage. So I thought I was all covered. And I know that like they normally, try and sell you extra insurances like I was prepared for that anyway but she basically said like but you can't take the car unless you pay for the extra insurance um like the extra third party insurance so so annoyed and like we were like going back and forth for a while because I was like I don't see why I should have to pay for it when I've already paid for extra coverage which should really include it but I was in there for ages and I just really wanted to get on the road because I was conscious that it's rush hour now so I'm gonna hit well I am hitting I have been hitting rush hour traffic Anyway, so that was an extra $157, I think, which is really annoying. 
But anyway, it still worked out a lot cheaper than like Alamo or Avis or all the big like car rental companies. So um, I'm, I'm still like better off going with this company. But yeah, anyway, the whole process of um, hiring a car off the airport site, it was really quick. I literally rocked up just as the guy uh, in the shuttle bus arrived and then he put our cases in and we got in and then he, we went and it was like five minutes from the airport so it was really quick and then because they're off site there was nobody in there so there was no queue whereas walking past all the like um dollar and avis and stuff they all had quite big queues so um so that was good so i'm on the road like i said i've hit rush hour so what should be taking me like an hour and a half is taking two and two hours and 20 minutes i think because of rush hour um so i'm gonna get to orlando about 7.45 I think um, so my plan is today when I get there I'm going to well I was going to go to the hotel first but I think I'm just going to go eat so I really want to eat at Outback Steakhouse tonight that's um, on my draft itinerary for tonight so we'll just go straight there I think and I'll get something to eat and then I'll probably go check in so I'm staying at Magic Moment Resort so I haven't really said much about the flight. So the flight was flight was really good, to be fair. Um, I was on the plane for, I think, 10 hours. We were in the air for 10 hours in the end because we had to circle for the last half an hour due to a thunderstorm in Tampa. So we kind of had to wait that out a little bit. Um, it was really bumpy going down, which I don't mind because I used to be cabin crew anyway, so I'm used to flying and I love flying anyway. I, th I, find, I find it quite fun. Um, but uh, if Graham was with me, he'd be hating it. Um, yeah, so it was really bumpy coming down. Yeah, 10 hours in total, which was quite long, but, you know, it actually went quite quick. I um, I was really lucky and I got a, a row of three to myself. So I laid down and had a three-hour nap, which I really needed and was glad that I managed to get because I only got about five hours sleep last night off and on because um, I didn't get to the hotel till 1 a.m. So I really needed that because it will help me go like to later tonight as well. Uh, the food was shocking as it was in November. If anything, I think it's got less. Like the tray just looks bare compared to like pre pre pandemic. I felt like it, you got crackers, cheese, bread roll. You don't get any of that anymore. It, it's just the meal and like this. They serve this weird quinoa, or whatever it is. It's horrible. I didn't. I tried it. I didn't like it. Um, but the chocolate and salted caramel pot was alright. But I took like my own snacks for the flight, so I had some of those. Um, I watched a couple of movies, had a three hour nap. That's about it really. Went quite quick. It did go quite quick. So my plan for this trip, so I'm here for six full days. I did um and R about getting the like UK Ultimate Disney Pass. I decided against it in the end because it's spring break this week like it's starting like tomorrow people will be arriving i think it's already i've already been reading it's really busy in the parks i'm not gonna lie i didn't want to like bash out disney on this trip i'm gonna do um a couple of days um so i decided to just get the two day disney park with the, with one water park add on well only one of them is open at the moment anyway because they close one to refurbish so i'm gonna do hollywood studios tomorrow Epcot on Sunday and I'm gonna do Typhoon Lagoon probably on Tuesday and then Wednesday evening I fly home. Uh, I've got a couple of shopping days in between. I like um, the premium outlets and Florida Mall. I'm gonna eat out every night. Some days I'm gonna try and go for breakfast as well. There will be a lot of food vlogging on this vlog. Um, I do love American food. It's one of the reasons why I love coming out here. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. So I'm gonna carry on driving, get to Orlando and get to the Outback. After Outback, I'm probably gonna check in to the hotel and then have a little look around the pool bar. It's dinner time. Yes, I'm excited. French onion soup. Dinner's here, I went for the filet mignon and loaded mash. Time for a Walmart trip. I'm starting to flag a bit now. Very tired after dinner. Okay, so we're here for the pudding. Pudding, pudding, pudding. I fancy some cheesecake. Might get all 
for that. at the hotel now so I'm just gonna go and check in. Looks nice. Looks quite new and, and modern and refurbished actually. Just arrived at my uh, hotel so I'm staying at Magic Moment Resort and Kids Club. Obviously I don't have the kids with me um, but it looked nice on the um, on hotels.com when I booked it. So I've got two double beds as a walk-in, luggage area, Nice big TV, loads of storage, um, some USB port chargers, uh, quite a big fridge, that's good, it's decent size, that's good. Another luggage area, and then um, wash basin, and pretty standard toilet and bath. So um, yeah, this, this hotel includes breakfast, so it's like a full, Hot breakfast, she was saying, the lady at reception. Um, that's um, 7 till 10, I think she said, in the morning. So I didn't realise it was like a hot breakfast. So I did have a couple of plans to go like Denny's and IHOP and stuff. But I don't know if I if I will do that. I'll go see what it's like tomorrow before I decide. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've just got back from Walmart. I'm so tired. So tired. Flagging now. It's like, I think it's about quarter past nine. So um, I think I've done quite well, quarter past two in England in the morning. Um, but I'm just gonna unpack a little bit, get stuff ready for tomorrow because I'm planning to rope drop Hollywood Studios. Um, I think it opens at nine. So I wanna be there ready for nine to walk in. I'm gonna try and stick it out for the whole day. Um, the Fantasmic show isn't back up and running yet since COVID because I did read that they're completely revamping the show so I expect they're doing a new set and stuff like that um, but I think it's going to open it's going to be the show is going to like come back later this year so that's not on at the moment so there's not really a show to stick around for at Hollywood Studios I think they're open till nine o'clock at night and there is like a projection show or something I don't know if I'll hang around for that though. But I might try Genie Plus um, if I am up in time in the morning, which I'm sure I will be, being the first morning. I'm going to see if I can get Genie Plus and see what it offers me. Just give it a go, really. Um, yeah, so that's my plan for tomorrow. I'm just going to unpack a bit. This is all I ended up getting in Walmart. It really was just a quick stop. I was really flagging by this point and I didn't have the energy to like look around for things. So I just got some milk because I brought tea, stuff to make tea. Um, some drinks, I love Mountain Dew at the moment, love these, and um, I didn't get any pudding at the Outback, and I could probably eat a couple of mouthfuls of that, so I'm excited for that. So I'm going to unpack, have a shower, get in my pyjamas, eat some cheesecake, and probably call it a day. So I'm all showered, and um, I'm just going to get things plugged in to charge, ready for tomorrow. Um, as I said, I'm going to Hollywood Studios tomorrow. I'm planning to rope drop it. Um, hopefully I'll be up early, not too early, but like pretty decent time um, for all of that. I'm gonna have breakfast here at the hotel first to see what that's like. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching my travel day um, and join me tomorrow for Hollywood Studios.